Let's find out what's written here. This writing refers to a guardian who inspired both men and dragons. I wonder if the guardian was himself a man or a dragon. Oh, wow, that's incredible. You lead the way. Because, Sarsen, they definitely couldn't be both. That's never happened before. I've never heard of a man, but also had some aspect of being a dragon? What? Sarsen, that's weird. Wow, I bet someone like that would be able to walk up to these walls and have some weird, like, extra supernatural experience where the wall, like, talks to them. <laughs> Could you imagine that, Tharsten? That's That's wild. I've never heard of anything like that. What the fuck kind of historian are you? <laughs> How does he not know this stuff? When we had last left the last dragonborn, they continued their excavation duties with Rallis Sedaris, who once again got a whole bunch of people killed in excavating Colbjorn Barrow. But as it turned out, perhaps Rallis Sedaris was under the influence of some strange supernatural power that was speaking and calling out to him from deep within the barrow. But such answers to such questions and ponderings would have to come at a later date. For indeed, they retrieved a ring after doing a fun walking around tiles puzzle, but now set their sights upon, yes, helping out Tharsten of the nearby Skull Village. He was a historian studying the Skull and their ways, and found nearby a recently unearthed ruin, and sought- This tomb is a discovery of great significance. We'll be remembered for this. And sought whatever lurked within. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, Dragonborn. <gasps> Welcome back. There we go. All right, let's continue on, huh? Let's do a quick save just as well, just in case. Got a little sleepy there just as well in the, in our little recap, huh? Okay. Anything else over here? Nah. At least not that I can tell. We might... Can we actually jump on top of this? We might be able to. Oh, uh, yo, look at this. Oh, shit, there's money up here. Hey, all right. Cool. Can I... Can I fly over there? I'm gonna try it. I don't think we can, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, my God. Hold on. We can get all the way over to the other side. I mean, it's locked, but hey, we can do it. Should we do it just to say that we've done it? Hell yes. Hell yes. <gasps> oh, I fell off. <laughs> all right. Theoretically, we could do it. We could theoretically go over to the other side. <laughs> I got too close to the end there trying to like prepare to fly or fling myself off further. Fuck it, I want to try. Look, Tharsten is over there, like, mocking us. <gasps> oh, you fucker! Come on! Come on! I was gonna try and get him over to the other side. Oh, what a dirty dog. What a fucking guy! Jeez! Come on, Tharsten. Look at him running around. Running amok. Look, our cooldown so You know what? Fuck it. Tharsten, you've ruined everything. This is your doing, not the fact that I fell off the side on my own. It was- it was you. <laughs> you old bald asshole. <laughs> okay. Let's flick on the lights here. Oh shit. Or perhaps not. There we go. Good. Alright. Ooh. Opened very quickly. Okay. Skeletal dude. Okay, sure. I do wonder, why don't many of the skeletons come to life inside of these ancient Nordic ruins? Is it something to do with the embalming process? Makes it to where it's more likely that they'll come back as like a, a full-on draugr, but not... Like, very rarely they come back as a skeleton. Like, it'll happen, but it's significantly rarer. 
you know? There we are. For some reason it did not go off. <laughs> Alright. I will not fall. Shit. Alright. What kind of soul gems do we even have left right now? Maybe none. Uh, we have a few petty. We've got eight petty ones. Okay. Sure. Here we are. Victorious Good. again. Ebony battle axe. Eh. Over here, ancient Nord warhammer. Bone meal. I'll take it. A delicious meal of bone. Lovely. <laughs> this is remarkable. Fortune has truly smiled on us. Tharsten, what kind of a historian are you? I've been in so many remarkably well preserved ruins. Have you not ever actually gone spelunking or like adventuring into any of these? I know the idea is that this one was just recently unearthed, but I've seen a bazillion like this. What's so well preserved about this shit? Alright. Here. I guess there aren't too many instances of like and a whole bunch so of the structure like collapsing in on itself, but even then, I feel like we've still seen many that don't have that, right? Okay. Over here. More linen wraps. Very good. Let's flick on the lights. Uh oh, look at this. There is strange colors up ahead. Oh, Tharsten, what could it mean? Hmm. Three pillars. Other than that plaque, there doesn't seem to be anything else worthy of note. Let's see what the inscription says. Okay. Let's see. All men must die, often by their own means. Sounds rather grim, if you ask me. The, the first one was pretty grim, too. To these pillars. Damn, dude, you're just walking on this thing? I feel like I would fall right through. <laughs> right? Surrounding a central one. Perhaps they're connected somehow. Okay. They also have glowing stones of some kind at the top. They look vaguely similar to drawings I've seen of objects called impact stones. Well, see what you can figure out. I'm going to inspect these pillars further to see if I've missed something. Impact stones. This did they call them that in Oblivion? Because there were impact stone or there were stones in Oblivion that you were meant to cast magic on in order to activate, right? It wasn't something that you did often, but it was definitely in the game. Okay. Ancient Nord Sword. Is it like enchanted or anything? I don't think so. No. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Is this one enchanted? I don't think any of them are enchanted like except for the history truly comes alive for me. Okay, okay. Sure. Let's do some impacting then, huh? Do I need to hit it with <gasps> Yeah, okay. I see. Ah, that's the trick. Yeah, wild. Okay, so you're not hitting them with magic, but rather a different discipline of dealing damage. All right, let's see. Destruction. And I guess we'll use this here. Right? Why not? Look, we just so happen to have one arrow stuck in us. Pull that right out. Pew! Shoot a rock with it. There you go. Now let's see what mysteries await us in the next room. Yeah, let's see. Drop that. Good. Okay. Cool. Fun little puzzle, huh? Ooh, Jesus Christ. Look at the fucking top, huh? Whoa, what is... Tharsten, you see that up there? What the hell? Hang on, do I have a uh, mage light? Yeah. Are those all sarcophagi? Oh, shit. Oh, it's stuck there. Dude, Tharsten, do you see that? That looks like... Bajillions of fucking sarcophaguses. Sarcophagies. Some coughing guys up there. 
Holy hell. Is that what that is? Okay. Reminds me of that um, big boss chamber in Resident Evil Let's 5. Try not to disturb anything. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. It, it evokes that to me. Okay. Oh, look. Hey, it's one of these walls. Can you hear it? Oh, shit. Okay. I won't like a hawk. Good. <laughs> Run them through. Pew, pew, pew. Good. Uh, shit. I tried to catch them both, but ended up missing them. Oh my god! Whoa! Holy shit! Am I dead? No, oh, okay. <laughs> I live still! Oh my gosh, I went flying halfway across the fucking room. I do not All right. Dead. Good. We're <laughs> we're fine. All right. Let's take care of you inside this little hidey hole. All right. Cool. Okay. Hey, Thurston. You in here getting some loot? Looting shit up? Let's head on back out and help Freya deal with this dude. There we go. Is that an enchanted hand axe? Or is that just red with blood? Freya's blood. I think it's just red, yeah. Okay. Amethyst claw left half. Oh, wild. Okay. I think I vaguely remember this. Huh. Surprised more people that haven't done that. <laughs> right? Or at least pried off a talon or something. These runes have faded a bit, but I believe I can translate the inscription. Okay. The writing describes a guardian who defeated someone named Mirak. In fact, if I'm reading this correctly, it says that Mirak was a traitor. Most interesting. There's probably an exit through one of these sarcophagi. Let's get moving. Okay, sure. It says all that? Let's see what it says for me. Loyal Battle Fury. Huh? Eh? What do you make of that? Do you think he gets... He gets like a... A fun UX experience or UI experience or whatever whenever he walks up to it? Okay. Let's see. What Weren't there... Correct me if I'm wrong. But weren't there also, like, language skills in Daggerfall? Didn't that used to exist in the Elder Scrolls games? Right? I don't know. To where, like, your character could actually translate stuff? That'd be neat. Bring it back, huh? At least for, like, Daedric, you know? That way... <laughs> if, if, if you as a player cannot be asked to learn and translate Daedric text, you know, maybe, maybe your character could, right? All right, over here. Oh shit. Let's let's actually check this fucking word out real quick. Oh look, yeah, we don't yet have this. Your thum enchants your nearby allies' weapons, allowing them to attack faster. Wow. Okay. Is that worth using? Probably not. Well. If you're a conjurer, and you have two conjured creatures up, does that impact, like... Hmm. Like, would it impact a... Like, a Frost Datronach that you summon? Because it's not necessarily using a weapon. But it might impact a Dramora, or whatever, who is using a weapon. Right? Or Undead, uh, summoned through Necromancy. Right? Huh. Okay. Weird. Anything over here? It also affects how quickly Gordon can eat rocks. Yum. <laughs> Alright. Over here. Is there anything to do with this sarcophagi? Or is this not the one you were talking about? Hmm. Can't we, like, refer to our map? Yeah. Nothing behind it. You're Freya. 
Oh, look, yeah, you've got the, like, elemental power or elemental fury. Even Tharsten. Does Gordon also have it? Oh, yeah, very clearly you can... <laughs> you can see how he's eating rocks 15% faster or whatever. Okay. Over here. Good. Look, we won't even need to dig our way or follow these the holes out of here. To build this tomb. We can just have Gordon, like, deep rock galactic our way out of here. <laughs> just buff him up. Okay. Good. Pull on this fun thing. We'll go back to the center here, I guess. And then we get to solve the next fun little whatever. Okay. Sure. So now this is opened, right? We haven't been up there. And then I'm, I'm assuming, like, for the final one, the center will open. And we'll actually get to claim a cool, fun prize or whatever. Alright. It was up here that we hadn't been yet, right? Oh, um, look. Here's our loop around, I bet. Right there. Or do you think that's it? Hmm. What if this is something else? Oh, shit! Oh, I went too far. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Tharsten. I got a little carried away with the exploration again. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Swim on over here. Hmm. Maybe the best way to do it is to go all the way up the arch? I don't know. I'm not sure if you can make the... like, apex of the arch. It may be too steep. You know? Yeah, look at that. I think it's definitely too steep. Yeah, we'll see if this is the loop around. The fun dungeon loop around town zone. Okay. You think in this weird, like, crevice? Nah. Okay. Let's munch on some salmon real quick. Anything over there? Nah. Okay. Cool. Let's roll on up here. What have we got? Linen wraps, burial urns, five gold. Petty soul gem. Anything in this big bowl? Nah. A little urn filled with amethyst and a potion of minor magicka. Cool. Okay. Tharsten, you should have kept that staff back there. I feel like that suits you way more than the dagger you're using. At the very least, you could stand back and, like, I don't know, throw in a few fireballs if you feel like it. Oh, shit. Okay. Good. Wow, six gold. Okay, love it. <laughs> Okay, let's head on down here. What kind of amazing, cool puzzle will we see here? Uh-oh. Ah, three tiles, okay. What does this one say, Tharsten? Let's hear it. This Where'd place Frey was go? a remarkable find. I expect there's another riddle in here, along with a puzzle. Yeah, it's right here. Continue along the path. Don't tread where you've been. Interesting. Damn. Well, I'm pretty sure about two things. One, the riddle is most likely referring to these flat square stones. And two, I'm not going anywhere near them. Holy shit, you really think it's about these flat square stones, Tharsen? Holy shit, man. Jeez, would you like pick that up from reading like Azura in the box or whatever the fuck? <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Yeah, continue along the path. Don't tread where you've been. Okay. Only five more to go. I hope Let's Gordon go. doesn't and mess this up for me. Splendid. The gates have opened. Cool. Okay. What this what if I did in the same tradition go where I'd been? Nah. Of yeah, we've seen others like this. Have 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 people not been inside of the Draugr tombs? of soul slime? Is this like the first time that anyone's done it? Huh. 
And if anything, right? There were we we know that there's been Draugr around in in Solsheim, right? Back in the third era, people knew about him, didn't they? I could have sworn I remembered people at like Fort Frostmoth talking about Draugr nearby. Maybe everyone who knew died, right? Maybe that's how it went down. Jesus. Yo, where is... Where is Freya? Did she die? Alright, gotcha. Got you. Let's heal up. Also, restore some stamina while we're at it, huh? Kinda handy having the stam regen. Okay. Look at Tharstan running up to go ninja loot the treasure. Okay. Look over here. Look, here's a look. Oh, here's the other half as well. A wall with dragon language inscriptions on it. Let's find out what's written here. This writing refers to a guardian who inspired both men and dragons. I wonder if the guardian was himself a man or a dragon. Oh, wow, that's Looks incredible. Like a secret entrance opened up along the wall. You lead the way. Because, Sarson, they definitely couldn't be both. That's never happened before. I've never heard of of anyone who is, like, a man, but also had some aspect of being a dragon? What? Tharsten, that's weird. That's so weird. Wow, I bet someone like that would be able to walk up to these walls and have some weird, like, extra supernatural experience where the wall, like, talks to them. <laughs> Could you imagine that, Tharsten? That's, that's wild. I've never heard of anything like that. What the fuck kind of historian are you? Who are you? <laughs> this guy's not a historian at all. At the end of this, is he gonna is he gonna turn out to be like some kind of weird asshole? <laughs> How does he not know this stuff? Dragonborn have existed before. I'm the last one. There's been many before me. <laughs> right? Shit, all you gotta know is a little bit about the the fucking Tamrielic Empire. Jeez, Tharsten, what's what's going on? What kind of a historian? Who? What history? <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Good. Go on this way, through the rock colon. Beautiful. Pull on the chain. <gasps> ding, 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 ding. Lovely. Yep, here we are. At the loop around. They're a lot less obvious this time around, right? With these, like, rocks rather than the usual thing that we would expect. Hopefully Frey is I here somewhere. I can't wait to get back to the village and start writing about this place. Okay. Let's head on to the centerpiece. Maybe Freya will show up? Or maybe she won't. Okay. Oh. Man, this whole thing was designed for the claw to be split in half? I thought we would, like, piece them together or something, but... Weird. You think that they would split the claw more delicately rather than... Like, how fucking rough it looks. <laughs> right? It's like someone just got really mad at it. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the equivalent of... Of someone who gets so mad at a game that they, like, break the controller. <laughs> they got so mad at the claw, they ripped it in half or whatever. Jeez. It's like, uh, rock candy or whatever, ah. huh? All right. Let's see what we have next. Okay. Here's another riddle. Stay your course, to idle is to die. Well, at least it's straightforward. There appears to be a switch of some kind here. I'll just stand over here while you flip that switch. I'm okay. sure everything will be fine. Well, maybe you shouldn't stand still, because apparently to stand still is to die. 
Five and nine, I've never seen anything like this. They appear to be platforms made entirely of magical force. Absolutely remarkable. If you can keep up with the platforms, you should be able to get across the chasm. Okay. Sure. This place was a remarkable find. I mean, I... Larson, I don't know if you saw earlier, but I might be able to get across even without the... Who knows what the platforms. in this place. Alright, there we go. Keep moving. I don't look down. Woohoo! I did it, Thurston! Look at that! Now you've got a way across. Oh, splendid. I had no doubt you'd make it across. Let's see what awaits us ahead. Oh, Tharsten, for being such a weirdo, you sure are kind. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it, Tharsten. That's enough for me. Alright, should we look inside this fun wooden door? Let's... Oh, it's our loop around. Drop. Is there something moving down there? Is it a monster? Ooh, it is! Thorsten, what is that? They're like creatures from Dark Souls. <laughs> Thorsten, you ever played Dark Souls? <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's pull this thing. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, God. Thorsten, don't say that. That's scary to me. Whew. Okay. Don't fall down there, Thurston, or you're gonna become, uh, like the furtive pygmy, lest we forget. I'm glad these platforms appear once you finish them. I don't want to find out what's down in that water. I can see them. It's corrupted shades. There's many of them down there. I wonder what's corrupted them. Okay. Anything else over here? Emerald Garnet. Do you think he says anything unique if we fall down? Oh, look, I bet this is a way back. If in case you do. Alright, well, let's do it. Thurston! Oh, Thank goodness I turned off sticky keys. <laughs> you like that, Thurston? Sticky keys joke. Classic. <laughs> oh, do you think there's anything inside of that brazier over there? We could totally fly into it. I don't think there is, though. I'm guessing this one will be even faster. Just remember to stay focused. And most importantly, run. Yeah. Dude, we could even use our slow down time shit if we need to. But I, I kind of I want to do it. If we fall, we fall, and we'll get to hear, like, his fun special dialogue. Thorsten, where are you going? Come back! Come back, Thorsten! I know the, the light bridge is fun, the, like, weird hard light bridge. It's fun. It reminds you of Portal and stuff, but... Come on back! <laughs> He's going all the way back away. Thorsten, I wanted to hear your takes on whatever the hell happens. Oh, man. <laughs> Thorsten, where are you going? Did you find Freya back here? Where'd he go? Thorsten, come back. What? Let's be extra careful. Yeah, okay. Did you, th <laughs> Did you think something was going to happen? Oh, is it because all the dudes showed up on the dude dar? I thought that we were, like, in the rumble zone. So Tharsten fleed. Okay. I see. Let's head on back here. Good. Alright. Neat. Holograms. Love it. Okay. Here we go. Super speed time. Like I said, if we fall, I'm curious if Tharsten says anything. Oh, fuck! 
Marston, I fucking did it, man! I fucking did it! I'm the fastest man alive! I didn't even scream at all! Look at Gordon go. <laughs> what a fucking champ. Braver than Tharston. Oh. I don't know. Would it? You think so? Just because it's on the same island? I guess. All right. Oh, the Hall of Stories. These are found in many ancient Nord tombs. Oh, is that what this there is must called? Be hundreds of years of history etched in these walls. Really? Too bad they seem too damaged to read. They all look the same to me, dude. Hmm. Looks like it needs some sort of key. Maybe those half claws you found would fit in here if you put them together. It seems these rings can be moved. Perhaps there's enough undamaged text in these etchings to tell us the combination. Oh shit, you think so? Ah, yes. I don't see any Here's text. Something. The first one has to do with a breeze. Or maybe it's wind. Wait, which the one is the first one? Mentions the night sky and the moon. And the wind, moon, something to fire? Do with fire. It also seems to mention scales. Wait, Tharsten, which one is the first one? This etching. I'll check the rest and see if there's anything else. You keep trying out the combinations. Wind, moon, fire. Okay. So, owl and then fire. But, but Tharsten, which one is the first one? Oh. I thought it would be an owl, but okay. A howling wolf. Okay, Tharsten, I think I got him in reverse. Huh? Alright. Is there anything good in here before we progress? Dude, I'm worried about Freya. She's gone as hell. Okay. There we are. There you go. Dude, how did you read this? Let's see what's up ahead. I don't even see any like text whatsoever. Are all of these really different? Is this like I'm seeing the dress as white and gold and you're seeing as like blue and black or something? What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> all right. Let's head on up here. Some sort of, like, reflecting pool? Oh, hey, this is, like, the same room where we fought, uh... The Galdersons, and the Galder father was there. <gasps> oh, shit, what the fuck? Tharsten, did you hear some creepy, like, music? Ah! Oh, it's blowing me! Tharsten! Steal yourself there, Tharsten. This place is dangerous. Okay. Uh, how about this? <laughs> Tharsten, I think they're all gonna blast us. Holy shit, Tharsten. Are you actually gonna survive this, or what? Should maybe hold back here. Alright, yeah, I don't have a good gem. Okay. There we are. Valak the Jailer. So this was like a prison? I guess so. Yeah, traitor. Mirak, traitor. So is this a place that Mirak was held at some point? But then broke free? Alright. Bone meal and 25... or... 250. Sure. Ah! Fuck, these things are still active. Just let me study these rooms for a moment. Hmm. Here's another mention of a guardian. I can only assume that this is the guardian's tomb we're standing in now. It says that he was loyal, and his reward was an honorable death. Quite fascinating. Hmm. Okay.
I guess we may as well unlock all of these. Loyal, Valor, Inspire. Okay. I'd use it on Freya if she were here. How amazing! A real dragon priest! In all my years as a historian, I never thought I'd see anything like that. I suppose that was Valok. He must have had this entire place built for him so that he could maintain his vigil, even beyond death. He must have been someone important. Indeed. I knew that the dragon priests were thought to have been powerful men of great will, but I had no idea. Well, I suppose I've seen everything I came for, and you kept up your end of the bargain. I promised payment, and here it is. Now I think I'll spend some more time studying this word wall. What a book this will make! Just this one wall? Holy shit, I've seen like hundreds of them. Okay, maybe not hundreds, but <laughs> how many books could I write? Sarson, I don't even... Is there actually something written here? Damn, we were joking earlier about Freya needing glasses. Maybe I'm the one who does. Like, in-game as well as real life. This place is all I'd hoped, and much more. What have you learned about this place? This is clearly a tomb, if a rather elaborate one. I would guess it was built for a dragon priest who achieved great fame in his time. It seems he was held in high regard by both men and dragons, because he defeated a traitor named Mirak. Perhaps Mirak was also a dragon priest, probably a contemporary of this guardian. He must have turned against his own order. After his defeat, Mirak was banished to Solstheim, and the Guardian was made his jailer. How did Mirak break free? I guess by way of Hermaeus Mora? But then how did Mirak get into contact with Hermaeus Mora? Maybe Hermaeus Mora contacted him. But why? Maybe he specifically needed... a Dragonborn? But there were other people who were Dragonborn at the time, right? Huh. Yeah, why the importance? Maybe it just happened to be not so much that he was Dragonborn, but just like the right person in the right place at the right time? Maybe. Why all the traps and puzzles? A good question. Partly to keep unwanted intruders away, I suppose. They might also have been meant as tests to ensure that only the truly worthy can reach the main burial chamber. Who can say, really? The motives of the dragon priests are as inscrutable as those of the dragons they worshipped. Right. Maybe they just thought it was fun. <laughs> Do you think this place has any connection with the skull? I've been thinking about that, and I believe it does. Really? I believe it was the ancient ancestors of the skull who built this tomb for their master, the dragon priest they called the Guardian. In all likelihood, these people were ancient Nords who came with a dragon priest to live here on Solstheim. Separated from their people on the mainland, they developed a distinct culture that became the Skull we know today. Of course, this is all just theory and conjecture. It right. is likely we will never know the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's what they say about the whole fucking Elder Scrolls, huh? Okay. Right then. Sure. You got anything fun on you? Children of the Allmaker? Grilled leeks? I'll eat them. Silver ring? Money? Thanks, Thurston. <laughs> okay. Cool. So then, now the working theory is that the reason why the skull came to this island in the first place was because of Mirak. Because this island was meant to serve as a prison for Mirak. Weird. Okay. I guess Mirak was just deemed as being that dangerous that he needed an entire island devoted to keeping him there? Is that it? Huh. Is that because... Was he deemed so dangerous just because he was, like, already in cahoots with Hermamora? Because that's the only way it would make sense that he was deemed to be so dangerous. Because, like I said, he was the first Dragonborn. How long until there was a second one? Maybe a long time, right? Maybe that's why he was deemed to be so much of a dangerous and powerful person, because 
it wouldn't be some time later until a second Dragonborn came into power or came into existence. Maybe that's it? Because if it were Hermaeus Mora is the reason why Mirak was so feared and powerful as a traitor. Right? Because why, like, if you're just a normal traitor, why wouldn't they just put you elsewhere? Right? Why here, of all places? Why not just, I don't know, kill them? Right? That's it. That, that would, sir, I would believe that dragons would do that, that the dragon priest cult and all that would totally be about that. Hmm. Okay. Well, anything behind these? I don't think so. Over here? Nah. So do we have quests complete now? Yeah, we do. Okay. Pay Mogrel. You know, Mogrel still hasn't sent any, like, thugs or hired assholes after me yet. Come on. I was wanting a few hired assholes to come after me. Also, what's up with this? We killed Veloc or whatever, and no mask? What's going on? How odd. Normally they do have that. I guess because this one was like the jailer or whatever? I don't know. Weird. Okay. Sure. Head on over here. You think we should jump down and fight our way through these other dudes? Just to see if there's anything good down here? Kind of tempted to, right? And what if they're like petty souls? Yeah, let's jump down. You know I got explored too. Oh, they're so easy and they have petty souls it seems. Wow, I killed them in literally one hit. They look so terrifying, but they're actually the easiest dudes around. Do they actually have good stuff on them? Wow, bone. Okay, but good luck finding them after you kill them. Yeah, it's like impossible to find their corpse. Okay. I mean, we could sift through the water if we really wanted to, but not really worth it, you know? Not for, like, a few scraps of gold and a potential at some bone meal. Okay. Good. Ooh, look at them from the bottom. Ew. Okay. Let's run around this way. I guess we can unbar the door. There we are. Neat. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going down here. We may as well fill up all of our pretty <laughs> gems and stuff, right? Good. I wonder if my shout would even... Oh, shit. Forgot we still had that one going. I was wondering because, you know, our... Um, our unrelenting force now deals a modest amount of damage. Right. Oh, we're all out of gems. Fair enough. Cool. Okay. Neat. Do you think it's, um, it's intentional that they have the same look as those other... I don't, I don't even remember where that was at, but the other Corrupted Shades? For what reason was it that they looked that way in the other like ancient Nord ruin. I don't even remember. It's been so long. But is could there be like a, a weird link between the two of them as to why both dungeons have like corrupted shades or whatever? I forgot. Why why were they like that? What was corrupting them? Huh. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anything over here? I guess we can go check this out. Nah! Pop the the door over here. Why not? 
you know, a courtesy to future adventurers. Or to Freya if she's still trapped in here somewhere. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh yeah, how do we get in this one? Oh, there's probably... Okay, yeah. Fair enough. Should we check out the hanging brazier? Remember from earlier? Or where is it at? There it is. Yeah, we can probably shout our way right into it. I would guess. You think the rope is collision? Oh, fuck. Yeah, you could definitely get into it, but I don't know to what end. It doesn't look like there's anything in there. Alright. Let's just head on up. Let's heal up, too. Good, good, good. Very pleased with the fact that we didn't have to pop a shout or anything to navigate that puzzle, right? Okay. Good. And then... Oh, back around this way. Yeah, where is Freya? Hmm. Look, we got a cool new shout to use on her specifically. And she's not even here! What the hell? Let's see. Maybe if we go through and zone in and out, she'll warp her ass over. Let's have a look. There we go. Let's see. Freya? You gonna show up? Hey, there you are. Cool. Alright. Great. What time of day is it? It's 11.19 a.m. Okay. Cool. Well, like I said, these two, a little bit shorter. Got some shorter ones going on. Uh, like I said in the last one. Uh, when next we come back, we will continue on with our fun high-flying adventures around here. We've got that, uh, what do you call it, location? The Black Book location to check out. It's not too far off from here. We could probably head on over that way. What's our carry weight at? Oh yeah, we could totally do that. Alright, yeah, when next we come back, we'll probably go after that black book unless something else uh, strikes our fancy, right? The, the world is our oyster. Having a lot of fun exploring around, seeing all these things in closer detail that we've seen as we've gone back and forth and all that, you know? Until next time, please take care of each other.